Hi all, this is the Manu project team with you. While the development is in full swing, we thought it would be very important to tell our viewers about all the features and functionalities that our engine has, so that after the next release, it will be much easier for you to dive into making your games. Manu is a no-coding game engine, where instead of code, you can use animation to create games in different genres. Our concept is that anything that can be changed can be animated. All dynamics in games are created with animation, and in our case, animation works instead of coding. That's why we would like to talk more about how this functionality works in our engine. And before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel or other social networks and like this video. We'll also be happy to answer your questions in the comments. Feel free to ask them. The animation in Manu is a classic timeline with a playhead that moves and changes its position in time. Any object in the game world can be added and changed in the animation track. It is also possible to animate all parameters of game world objects and their environment, such as sky, sun, picture control settings, fog properties, and so on. This also applies to individual actions. For example, if we need to move an object from one point to another, animation will help us to handle this easily. However, our engine has a special feature. The animation is based on a mathematical framework. This makes our animation engine very powerful and flexible. Mathematical functions can be useful to customize animations, but do you need good knowledge of this field to do it? No, you don't need to know programming or advanced mathematics to be able to use them in our animation engine. You'll be enough school courses or the ability to find information on the internet. Besides, the engine has ready animation assemblies, which we have developed especially for our users. You will not have to dive deep into mathematical calculations. For example, thanks to this feature, you can simulate the situation when one object turns to another, goes to him, hands him a scroll with a task, and then turns around and leaves. In the future, in addition to the engine, we will introduce Marketplace, where users will be able to exchange, buy, and sell ready-made assets. Let's get back to the main question. What else can we do with animations in Manu? Thanks to our animation functionality, you can import skinned mesh animations and simple animations, and pre-configured animations in other programs, character movements, movement of some mechanism or object. In addition, each animation in our engine supports sound. Accordingly, when you're voicing your game, you can load object sounds into Manu and trigger them into animations at the right moment. You can also combine sound with other animations. In addition, with animations, you can customize your character's behavior depending on the game's logic. So it's as easy to make cutscenes as in the usual video editor. So how do the animations in Manu start? To make sure they start and stop at the right time, our engine uses the in-game trigger management toolkit. Here, you can combine in-game events and custom events, setting up event relationships for the animations to start and stop it. Moreover, multiple tagged animations are available in the new. We can mark multiple objects with a single tag and perform a certain action on all of them at the right moment. Even though we've greatly simplified the process of developing game mechanics, as our experience has shown, creating games with animations is not always easy. That's because you have to keep the order of animations, triggers, and their interrelationships in mind at the same time. To solve this custom problem, we're now working on a Gameflow Toolkit. It's our unique technology that lets users customize the order in which they call animations, triggers, and nested Gameflow state machines in the form of charts. Gameflow Toolkit will help visualize and create bot mechanics, cutscenes, quests, and any other game mechanics and processes. Thanks to this, our users can easily control all the processes during game creation and see how it all works together and in parts. That way, by combining our innovative Animation Toolkit, Gameflow Toolkit, and Trigger Management Toolkit technologies, users can create no-coding assets, bots, different game mechanics, and more. Later, you'll be able to publish and sell your finished assets on the Asset Store. Besides, you can take any asset from one game and transfer it to another one and easily customize its work. Altogether, thanks to all these technologies, the process of creating games will be much faster than writing code. And with you is the Manu Project team. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can leave your comments and questions below this video. We are happy to respond to your messages. And don't forget that becoming a game creator is easier than you think. See you later.